Come on. Nobody uses cottage cheese to make myself. Listen, no, listen, the first time that I made it, it was really nice. Come on, Rachel. 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 Come
Needless to say, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima. Ow! Sorry, um, my dog, my minor disaster. Um, well, the least I can do is face up to the consequences. Well, if I have to. No need to name names, though. Um, look, we still need to talk about your knee. It's more swollen than I'd like, so I want you to put the brace on. Whatever you say. Needless to say, if there's anything I can do... I'll miss the triple bypass. I'm afraid so. But as it happens, I've been meaning to talk to you about taking the lead in an off-pump Connery artery bypass graft. Have you? Right. You'll be scheduling Mr. Lewis's soon, won't you? Hmm. See, she doesn't want to make a fuss. If you say so. Catch you later? No. Okay. No coffee break for the wicked, and. Hmm? Hmm. How's Cruella doing? Well, if you're really interested, she's making herself useful and she refuses to jump the radiology queue. Oh, sorry. My mistake. How's Saint Cruella doing? Benefiting from the fact that I, for one, am keeping an open mind about her. Fair enough. Maybe you should try to. Don't even go there, OK? I know what I know. Well, I have been talking to her. In my experience, that's the first mistake people make with Jack. But, uh, she has said one or two things that do make a great deal of sense. Oh, please. Oh, seriously, it made me think. Um, if everything had been fine between you and Joseph... Then... Lyndon, now, please. Look, this is stupid. Let's not fall out. Not over Jack. Tonight, what do you say? I'll cook dinner. Let me get back to you, OK? From radiology, I'm not taking any more chances. I don't care how bored you are, I want you staying there like that until I tell you otherwise. What do you say? Good. No arguments then. None. Zero. You're the boss. I like to think so. I'm just uh, chasing radiology. Right. Okay. Thank you. It's much appreciated. No problem. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. This is the reason why I had to bring the dog in. Decorators. Right. And I've got Martha and uh, him staying with me at the moment. So uh, you didn't think about maybe postponing the decorators? It's been arranged for months. Right. Worst of both worlds. Upshot being, Ms. Naylor gets to do her first off-pump coronary artery bypass graft much earlier than one would have intended. Really? Oh, yes, yes. Cardiothoracic equivalent to an enormous bunch of grapes. All she needs, apparently, to make her feel 100% better. Ah, at last. Have you spoken to radiology? Yeah, I have. Break it to me gently, Doctor. Oh, cartilage is intact, but there is substantial bruising there. You'll have to start taking your physio more seriously. I'm bored of limping now, anyway. Sick of the stick. I tried to track down your other scan, too. Excuse me? Your 12-week scan. The one of your baby. You're unbelievable. Not only do you have the audacity to come in here making outlandish accusations, but you also show no shame in rifling through my personal possessions. Exactly what kind of nasty trick were you thinking of playing? I mean, just tell me how far you were going to take this. And you say I'm unbelievable. Although it is none of your business, that happens to be a scan of my future godchild. When are you going to stop lying? How dare you? You've got this, because at some point in your twisted scheme, you were going to use it to convince Joseph you were carrying his child. Why would I do that? It's absolute rubbish. Really? I don't think so. I think it's unscrupulous and deceitful. And heaven forbid anything should have happened to render the fragrance system Morton free and available. Can you not see how reprehensible this is? I see my godchild. I believe I'm free to go. It's a pleasure to discharge you. Oh, don't be like that. You have no qualms about anything, do you? What are you going to do next? Me? Well, if today's taught me anything, it's that I need to ditch the stick and get match fit. You can keep that scan, by the way. I've decided I'm not godmother material. First, you seduce Joseph, and then you let him think you're pregnant. Okay, look, it's enough. The bottom line is, is that Joseph wanted to sleep with me. I know. It's embarrassing and you don't want to talk about it, but it was one time. You're right, I don't want to talk about it. 
Faye could have got over it if she'd wanted to. But she gets off on that whole, oh, oh, you lie to me, you deceive me crap. You just ignore the pain that you cause. She will always be hurt by him. He will always hurt her. It's their pathology. They don't need me to screw each other up. But what you did was wrong. What you think I did. You really should think twice before you start flinging mad allegations about. Look, my knee hurts, so could you take this up to admin for me, please? You know, you can think what you like about me, Lyndon. But I'm not the villain of the piece. Hey. It's all right in here, isn't it? It's all drunk. That's all I care about. What is wrong with you? Well, don't give me any of that I'm all right rubbish. Are we supposed to be in with you, it? Just get me another drink. I'm with the worst day ever. Yeah, well, we lost him. Poor guy. So, what would it be? Buddy? Mm. Two. 